Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode. A new study has been causing a shit stir of late, mostly due to a gross misrepresentation of the research data by the media, leading to fear-mongering articles like this one published in the Daily Mail, claiming that vegetarian diets raise the risk of heart disease and cancer. Or this one from The Telegraph with similar claims. And now you have popular YouTubers like Jason Blaha, as well as Alex Jones covering this on their channels. In the case of Alex Jones, however, he jumps straight on the media's retard bandwagon. Thus, by now, most of you have probably gotten wind of this obnoxious media fart, so I thought I'd cover this topic briefly and give my thoughts. The March 2016 study compared vegetarian populations of people to meat-eating populations of people, and they analyzed them on a genetic level. Uh, to summarize the results, the researchers found that the long-term vegetarians possess a specific gene that increases the production of two key enzymes that improve the ability to produce essential fats not directly consumed from their diet, uh, like EPA and DHA. This was compared to non-vegetarians who lacked that specific gene. In other words, our bodies are very adaptive. And this is in line with other existing research on the topic. There was a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2010 which discovered that those who do not consume fish, like vegans and vegetarians, have little difference in EPA and DHA levels compared to those who do. This indicates that those who do not consume fish may be able to convert ALA more efficiently. Some very high vegan sources of ALA are flax seeds at 6.4 grams per ounce, uh, chia seeds at 4.9 grams per ounce, hemp seeds at 2.8 grams per ounce, and walnuts at 2.5 grams per seven-shelled nuts. Uh, these figures were extracted from the website nutritiondata.self.com. Um, of that group, flax appears to be the clear winner, with 23% more ALA per ounce than chia seeds. However, recently there has surfaced a more efficient source of omega-3 for vegans. Ahi flower seeds, which a double-blind, placebo-controlled human clinical trial has demonstrated can increase cellular EPA levels up to 400% more than flax. Given this finding, I am sure it is only a matter of time until we have uh, ahi flower seeds commercially available. Uh, that said, let's get back to the primary topic of this video. Uh, the study didn't actually say that vegetarian diets were harmful. Um, that is taking shit wildly out of context. Rather, the study author suggests that long-term vegetarians should be careful to avoid some foods that are high in omega-6, which can lead to unhealthy inflammation-related diseases. He specifically suggests the avoidance of vegetable oils. In other words, find healthier whole food vegan sources of fat to consume to meet daily needs for health, as much as possible. And I've covered in depth the dietary fat requirements for health in another video which I will link below. Do go and watch it. Really, none of this should be news to us. One thing we all quickly learn as vegans is the health importance of focusing on a nutrient-dense, whole foods, plant-based diet with a limit on consuming processed shit. And on that note, to summarize the advice of nutrition expert Alan Aragon, if you wish to indulge, that is fine, but limit your junk intake to 10 to 20% of your total daily calories. It should also go without saying that long-term vegetarians should not revert to a standard American diet, which is one that is high in animal-based, saturated, and hydrogenated fats, while lower in fiber, including a lot of processed foods. But if you are vegan for the right reasons, the ethical reasons, why the fuck would you ever go back to such a degenerate lifestyle anyway? And it serves you right if you do and you get fucking sick as a result. I call that karma. So really this was just a study on gene patterns among populations with different long-term dietary practices. It was not a study attacking vegetarian diets. The latter is just a gross misrepresentation by the fear-mongering sensationalist media. Remember... The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated that a properly planned vegan diet is healthful, nutritionally adequate, and may even provide health benefits in the prevention and treatment of certain diseases at any stage of life. Just ensure that you eat properly, because a vegan can still eat like shit and suffer for it. But that isn't the fault of a vegan diet, but rather the dieter. Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed this video and have gotten something out of it. Please like and share it, especially in light of this false media smear. Uh, education is key, people. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, otherwise, till we meet again.